Hey there guys, it's Delta49er here with a tutorial on how to install a shader pack with the Minecraft Optifine mod. If you have not already watched my how to install Optifine video, make sure to do that uh, so you can have Optifine installed before we install the shader pack. So as you can see in game here, we have the Optifine mod installed. If you go ahead and go to options, video settings, and then shaders, it will tell you that the fast render setting needs to be off. So we want to go ahead and go to performance and turn fast render off and then click done. And if you go to shaders, you can get into the folder now. If you turn on the internal shaders, again, if you go back to the game, you can see not much has changed. So we're gonna install a shader pack. If you go ahead and quit the game and open up your web browser, we're going to be installing Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders. If you have another shader pack that you would rather install, the method besides finding it on the Minecraft forums or wherever you uh, download it from is the same. Uh, so you just want to find the shader pack of your choice. Again, we're going to be using Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders as an example, and that is linked in the description. And you want to scroll down to the downloads section. You can see that there's a whole bunch of downloads, but you actually want to find the preview uh, section here and you want to click the newest version. Uh, so this is preview one as of right now, it may update in the future. Uh, and you want to click that link and it will bring you to an ad fly page. You wanna wait the five seconds for the skip ad button to appear in the top right and click skip ad. Then as long as you agree to the end user license agreement, you want to click the checked box and click download and save the file on your desktop. Now navigate to your desktop. Now you want to press the Windows key and the R key on your keyboard and type percent APP DATA percent and click OK and navigate to dot Minecraft shader packs and then drag the SUS shader pack zip file into the shader packs folder and you can go ahead and close that and open up your minecraft launcher once again make sure the optifine profile is selected and click play once minecraft loads up you can go ahead and go into a world and then go to options video settings shaders and double click the seuss shader pack and then you can exit the menu and you can see that these shaders are enabled. Now if the game crashed or you're having issues with the shader pack, I suggest trying to install a different shader pack. I'll leave a link to a few different ones you can try out. Not all computers are able to run this mod, so if it continually crashes with every shader pack you try, unfortunately your computer just may not be powerful enough to run shaders. Uh, but Otherwise, if you have any questions, you can leave those in the comments below. If you're not subscribed, make sure to do so for more gaming tutorials and reviews every Saturday and Sunday. If you did enjoy this or did find this helpful, a like and a share would be greatly appreciated. I do really appreciate it because it helps me out a lot. And if you're not following me on Twitter, a link to that as well as other social links is in the description below where you can follow me for updates and interesting tidbits from the internet. Thanks for watching and have a good one.